What's up everyone, MCI ADP Studios. Uh, thank you so much for checking out today's podcast. Today I have a very special guest, um, Joey Deuces. What up, What's what up, up, man? Not too much, just hanging out this morning. How you doing? I'm doing really good this morning, actually. So uh, we're going to do a little house cleaning today. We're going to talk a little bit about what's been going on with EDP. We're going to talk about uh, hashtag EDP artists because that's become a thing. And uh, we're going to interview Deuces uh, for those of you that are not familiar with him. So first things first, we're going to do a little house cleaning. Obviously, you guys probably haven't seen a podcast in a while. Um, and obviously, it was Corona happened, right? Yes, so, sir. Um, that kind of put a detriment to a lot of things a lot of people were doing right and i like to do most of my interviews in person get to know the person and i mean obviously i know deuces and you guys will find out why over this last year we really uh kind of linked up and and made some cool shit so um but with that being said gonna try to knock the ring rust off kind of uh so to speak with the podcast i had a lot of them going i had a really good flow going right and uh, then Corona hit, and then I kind of just put the podcast on the shelf. I did a few Zoom ones, and uh, one of them I put out with the homie Mike. Um, so if you guys ain't checked that out, that's probably about a year old now. But uh, Corona did put a big damper on shit, so I was uh, I was in the flow. But now we're going to get this thing back going and back started because I enjoy doing it. And uh, so that's the first piece of house cleaning. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, I also the second uh, one other thing I want to go over. So I seen this uh, meme right, and it, and this, these people were sharing it online, and it says, "Not everyone needs a podcast." Just a <laughs> heads up, right? And I fucking hate shit like that because right. it's like, man, if you want to have a fucking podcast, just have a podcast. You know what I mean? Like, I don't do this shit because everybody else is doing it. You know, may maybe somebody that's motivation, but the people that are sharing that shit, man, fuck you guys. Like, for real. Like, you should do whatever you feel like you want to do in this fucking life and don't let... Because that meme could crush somebody and not make them want to yeah. have a fucking podcast, right? Yeah, definitely. So that, that shit is stupid, man. Don't... So if you've seen that shit or you even listen to that shit or fuck them guys, man. And I just wanted to put that out there because Hell I think yeah. that shit's stupid. <laughs> For real. Everybody's opinions so, and shit. Yeah, exactly. So um, with that being said, uh, you will be able to check this podcast out on all platforms. It will be, I don't know the release date quite yet with this. I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to try to do for a month, I'm hoping, like one a week if I can. But I got a lot of changes going on in my life right now, so we'll see if we can make that happen. And uh, one other thing, yeah, it looks a little different than the podcast you may have seen before. But um, I had a company come out, and I kind of addressed this in a video on my YouTube channel. I had a company come out and waterproof my basement a few years ago, like three years ago now. And uh, that... It lasted for one year without no water in the basement. And then after that, I had fucking water in my basement for the last two years. And they said it was just because of the high water table. Kind of sucks because I paid them a lot of fucking money to uh, waterproof my basement. So my studio is pretty much gone. This is the spare room that was down downstairs in my house. So we're just going to make the podcast happen from here. It works for now, and then I can just unhook the stuff in case I get water because we're getting into that season. Right, so I can give them a Google review for you real quick. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I did at one, and they, like, called me and shit, right? And uh, they were like, can you take that down and this, that, and the other thing? And I'm <laughs> like, you know, right, I signed the contract, right, that said, I guess, if shit fucks up after you have it done, um, uh, you know, that's kind of my responsibility. So, okay, I understand that, right? But... At the same time, it's like, come on, man, what you're gonna sell me some shit, and then you know that the water table is high around here, and then you're just gonna sell me something for twenty fucking grand, and it kind of fucks up my whole business, my whole, you know, EDP studios, everything, because yeah. that that's my livelihood, right? But we kept on trucking, and that kind of leads us here today. So we kept on going, and uh, let me introduce you to the homie Joey Deuces. Uh, Joe Hamilton is his real name. Um, so you said you're doing good, man. Thanks a lot for coming through. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks for having me through, man. I'm doing great today. Uh, shit, let's 
you know? let's, let's do it. Yeah. Let's, so let's uh, it. this is Deuce's first podcast, but like I wanted to bring him on. Not only, like I said, to uh, knock some ring rust off for me. I thought it was a good one because uh, Deuce is familiar with EDP Studios. He's an artist that uh, I've started working with. Him and Latin J. Uh, you guys are familiar with Latin J, I'm sure. Uh, if you know anything about EDP. Um, we started working together, what, probably about a year ago now, right? Yep, kind of yep. almost like it's, when Corona started, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, it was like right before. It's been almost a, an anniversary. Yeah, so. yeah. So um, I don't even really know how it actually came about. I had a handful of artists that I was trying to help, uh, you know, market their stuff. And um, obviously I wanted to come through the studio and work with me and, uh, you know, work on some EDP beats, that type shit. Yeah. But uh how did that? How did I don't even? How did that well, even happen? The, the story is kind of funny because uh, it seems like it was inevitable because you know at the time I was working with Max Low. And, oh know, yeah, okay. He came through and did the bars, but then on the top of that, my my homie Nate Wamba uh, had introduced me to Latin J. You know what I mean? Not personally, just over uh, Facebook. You know what I mean? Social networking and shit. So you know, I mean, it, it kind of seemed like it was going to be inevitable, and it's just crazy, you know, you know the way. Things just fell into place. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, some people fall by the wayside. Um, I don't fuck with weird energy. So that type of shit kind of happened. So we kind of had a little group of guys that we were working with. And, uh, you know, I wish all the best to everybody and that kind of thing. But some people just stick and some people work hard. And, and that's what I really enjoy about, you know, our relationship. Because uh, Deuces is always putting out material. He's always doing freestyles. He's always uh, dropping the next track. And, um He's gotten really good at like uh, engineering and, and recording his own music as well. So like that gives him an opportunity to be able to put stuff out. So let's just start at the top for people that don't know you, man, because like obviously I kind of know your backstory. You know, I ask you a lot of questions when we hang out and shit. But uh, how did you just get into rapping and, you know, kind of what how, what did your path look like coming up to here? You know, All right, well, uh, I've always been kind of like addicted to music you know what i mean music has always been a thing for me you know what i mean ever since i was young a toddler you know what i mean had the headphones on jamming out whether it was you know what i mean some classic rock or maybe you know what i mean something some uh like salt and pepper something like that you know what i mean my mom used to listen to that type of shit my dad used to listen to like uh the sugar hill gang shit like that you know what i mean so i kind of always listened to hip-hop rap type shit but uh you know uh i grew up doing that shit you know it was a big deal with uh white people and shit coming up it was hard you know what i'm saying so we went to school you know uh people kind of judged me a little bit i even got in trouble for uh selling tupac tapes you know what i mean <laughs> making uh the little copies of the tape cassettes right, right. <laughs> got in trouble in the elementary for that but uh <laughs> why because it was parental advisory and yeah you like, know yeah. the little mm -hmm. controversy I got little five-year-old selling some tupac <laughs> tapes you know what i'm saying but I've always been down for it. Uh, music is, I don't know, man. It's just the shit to me. It's just always, I've always just felt it. And uh, I definitely wanted a part of that. And, you know, I didn't always have the uh, confidence or uh, the means to actually do it. You know, I always messed around a lot when I was younger with my friends. You know what I mean? Get to freestyling and that. I think I was like 11 years old when I first started doing that. Me and uh, two of my buddies, Matt Califf and Andy Glover. Shout out to those two. Um yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, we used to just do a bunch of freestyling and shit, you know what I mean? Messing around, you know, as as, as time went on, you know what I mean? Like, it was kind of like wine. I aged aged kind of good with it, you know what I mean? There was a point in time when we were getting drunk. We were minors, we were like 16 or 17. Uh, we would get drunk, and we would walk around down by, uh, by Muskegon High School and shit and, uh, you know, look for people to battle or anything like that. You know what I mean? Just out there, not even necessarily looking for targets or nothing, but you know what I mean? Just out there trying to mingle, rap with people and shit. You know what I mean? It was just it was just a thing to do. Me and my homeboy, Mikey McDermott, shout out to him too. Uh, you know, we just always did it. You know what I mean? It was just something we always did, always. And uh, there was a point in time where we had this mixtape called Off the Dome Mixtape. Everything was freestyle on the on the project. It was actually pretty dope, you know what I mean? The quality wasn't the best. It was way back then, you know what I mean? We didn't really know anything about engineering or anything like that. But uh uh it never got released, you know what I mean? I got the uh the blue screen of death on my mm, e-machine. The mm. whole thing crashed and after that I just kinda was like, you know, fuck it. Yeah. Put all that time in it and shit. It was kinda discouraging. So yeah. you know what I mean? I didn't really do much after that. Always, you know what I mean, freestyling at parties and shit like that and uh something clicked like three years ago 
that, you know, I need to do something. You know what I mean? I got to do something. You know what I mean? I've always known I got to do something, but that nine to five shit, you know what I mean? It ain't for everybody. I'm sure everybody can agree with that. Uh, and I don't know what it was, man. Just something, something clicked. You know what I mean? I started doing it. And then, uh, one of my, uh, fiance's friends introduced me to one of her friends. It was a kind of a friend of a friend ordeal. And, um, he he did the same thing, you know what I mean? We did a couple songs together, and then we did a couple shows together. We ended up uh, forming a group, and then we ended up breaking off later on. But, um, you know, ever since I did that first show, it was in a backyard somewhere in, like, Cedar Springs or some weird shit. I can't remember where the hell it was. It was in somebody's backyard, a little birthday bash and shit, and I shut the shit down, you know what I mean? And uh, it just felt good, you know what I mean? It was just something I wanted to con continue to feel. Spit my own content the way everybody was reacting and shit. You know what I mean? So yeah, okay. That's just kind of where, and that kind of brought you to where you are at now. Yeah. So yeah, then you told the story a little bit about how uh, you got linked up with Latin J. Yeah, yup. Uh, I got linked up with Latin J. Uh, like I said, I was about to drop my uh, 2020 Vision mixtape, and uh, my homeboy Nate had introduced me to him like a little bit prior to, and you know. I uh, planned on working with them. We just haven't really made it enough time for each other yet or anything like that. You know what I mean? And then I was doing the documentary with Phil Myers, too. Mm. I was a little piece of that. Uh, shout out to Phil Myers and everybody else that was involved with that. That shit was dope as fuck. So Muskegon. Yep. But, uh... Got a cameo in that, bitch. Hell, yeah. <laughs> EDP. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, like I said, uh, Nate Wamba introduced me to Latin J. Uh... And uh, we both had a, a project coming out that was called 2020 Vision, you know, ironically. Hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. uh, I think he ended up changing it to 2020 Driven yeah, or yeah. something like yep. that. Yep. And then, um, you know what I mean? It was just so crazy, you know what I mean? You know what they say, uh, great minds think alike. But, um, yeah, we ended up actually uh, grew us together even stronger, you know what I'm saying? Because we were like, you know. This could go one of two ways, you know what I mean? We could either be sour about it type shit, or right. we could, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shit, let's work together, you know what I mean? Because obviously we're thinking similar type shit, you know what I mean? Plus, you know what I mean? His vibe is just fucking killer, you know what I mean? And he rips it every time. Inspirational as fuck, you know what I mean? He kills it. Uh, definitely one of the most underrated people in Muskegon. It's crazy to me, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, we ended up linking up. You know, we made a uh, kicking it in. That shit was crazy. Uh, we did another in between project that was just kind of a a little thing uh called spaceships, and then we did um an inside job, which was fucking crazy. You know what I mean? The whole storyline, everything to it, all the content around it, everything was just dope. You could did a good job on that shit. You do a good job every time, but you know what I'm saying? Like Thanks, that bro. shit was just Appreciate so fucking that. killer. That shit was killer yeah, as fuck. We made Pure a movie. Yeah, we made a movie, and it was kind of, uh, I learned a lot from that experience. You know, there's things I would change, but at the same time, there's things I wouldn't change because that's how you learn and grow, right? That's how you keep moving on to the next Definitely. The next, next position. So, yeah, if you guys aren't, aren't really familiar, so uh, when you link with Latin J, Latin J kind of introduced you to me. So we kind of got linked up, and then we did a few projects together. Yep. Um, our first project was that... Uh, <coughs> kicking it in so that was just some straight bars and then you guys shot a video to that that was like my second or third video i shot so over the past uh year i've been shooting a bunch of videos and i actually really kind of fell in love with shooting videos and editing videos and just learning new skills and, and shit you kill so, it like, you definitely so, kill it so yeah i appreciate that man so if you're all trying to get a video um you ain't pointing no fucking guns at me though so i'm just telling you that right <laughs> now i ain't do that shit you can right. call somebody else for that but uh yeah, so with that being said, that uh, it was cool because it's helped me learn and grow a lot too, you know. And uh, so we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about the hashtag EDP artist. So that was kind of going around uh, the hashtag EDP artist. You know, I don't really have a label or anything like that, but like that means a lot that I have, you know, a, a camp of guys, you know, some guys on my squad that, because to me, I don't take that ED, like if you rep an EDP, I don't take that shit lightly. Like, right. you know, I, I weed out people that are easily going to have weird energy, like I said earlier, or like if you're not willing to put into work and make shit happen. And like, that's what I appreciate about you because you're always making something happen. And, uh, that's why I appreciate you using the hashtag EDP artist because, like, that's what we stand for is working hard, learning and growing and keep moving on to the next thing, you know. Yeah, definitely. You've done a lot for, for me so far, definitely. And uh, I appreciate all that shit for real. 
You know well, what I mean? You, you work yeah. hard too. It's it's great to be around people that uh, inspire me. You know what I mean? It's hard to find that energy. It's hard to find people that you can actually uh, click with, work with, not even just on a business level, on a personal level, you know what I mean, and get shit done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it's definitely appreciated over here on my side, definitely. Yeah, man, feelings mutual. And, you know, we've had a lot of good conversations too because I like, uh, you know, sometimes we get down to business, but I like all the artists that come through. Like I build a personal relationship with them, you know, because we talk about all kinds of shit. And that's kind of shit we talked about before. It's like, listen, you got to surround yourself with people that are like on the same path and the same mindset, You right? You know, yeah. like you want to make sure that you're hanging around around with those people so you can be inspired so you can want to work harder almost sometimes have some friendly competition right because it kind of see if somebody's doing something it kind of juices you to do something definitely else, you know? definitely yeah you could so, uh, reciprocate that energy so much man and that's a good thing about that yeah when you when you get uh competitive like that with each other you know what i mean you, you bring each other to a different level that it's just you know what i mean you feed off each other's energy that's such a great thing to do you know what i mean and everybody wins at the end of the, end of the day yeah exactly man um so that's kind of our culture over here that's what we do obviously we got you know and uh and with that being said, bro, like, you kill the bars and shit, too. So it's not even just that. Like, your rapping style, even from kind of when I first was introduced to you and kind of some of the first shit that we started working on, then all the way up until almost, like, kind of what you're doing now with, like, the storytelling, kind of just not always just, you know, because some motherfuckers that, like, spit bars, right? They just want to spit fast, yep. show many bars they can spit. They don't they don't really think about timing or, or like, slowing down or, or things like that. So, like... I really like to see that growth within you too, like just how you approach it different ways, almost like tactical, right? Yeah, so, definitely. Um, so what makes you kind of think that way as far as like being more tactical about it instead of just being like, oh, I can out rap all these motherfuckers type thing, you know? Well, um, I look at this shit like fucking other people look at EA sports, you know what I mean? Uh, NBA, NFL, any of that shit. This shit is a competitive sport to me, you know what I mean? Some people take it wrong, some people take it right, you know what I mean? Either way, I'm gonna keep doing it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm 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 really only in competition with myself. But you know what I mean? Like I said, this is a competitive sport. You know what I mean? I've always been into the battle rap before, before all the Eminem, all that shit. You know what I mean? I was watching uh, world rap championships. I was watching, you know, freestyle competitions, all that shit before. You know what I mean? Scribble Jam, all that shit before Eminem even got big. You know what I mean? So. To me, this is that's that's what I came off of. You know what I mean? That that competitiveness is something that evolved later on but it's just something you know what i mean i just love to do it it's a good feeling and i feel i feel great when i do it you know it's like i said it's, it, it gets me competitive and it feels good to be competitive you know every, every man can can say that they like to be competitive in one way or another you know what i mean yeah. and everybody wants to be the top dog i mean who don't right. you know yeah, yeah yeah exactly <laughs> i mean come on now yeah, that's a good way to look like it. I mean, that's a way to always improve. And I like what you said about being um, in competition with yourself because a lot of people get lost, especially nowadays with the whole comparison, like comparison, you know, comparing themselves to others and, and you know, especially with social media and all that shit. But, like, if, at the end of the day, if you look and you're better than you were yesterday because the person you were yesterday is now one step behind, like, that's how you're going to win every time, bro. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and... uh I'm going to go off just a little bit, too, and just say, you know, the whole point of all, all of these things, like, with us linking up and, and me trying to help you guys in certain ways and uh, you guys even helping me in certain ways is, like, you know, you got you to gotta find your crew. Right, you're gonna find you're gonna find your crew. You're gonna find your fan base. You know, and that's where I think a lot of rappers get lost. And I think that's cool because you guys understand that, and that's what we're all working towards. You know, you're gonna find your own fan base, right? You're right. gonna find the people that mess with your rap, mess with your style, and like that, like. You're not just trying to broadcast to the whole world or just, you know, throw shit against the wall and hope it sticks. You're you guys are to the point where you understand of like what what you guys are trying to accomplish and the fans that you're trying to obtain are gonna be your fans. You know what I mean? Because right. like fans of fucking like, you know, Britney Spears or fucking uh Shania Twain or, you know, that type of shit. I mean, maybe few and far between, but like you know, them aren't really gonna be your fans. You know right. what I mean? Definitely. So it's like you guys and anybody that's listening to this that is a rapper, that's like your number one thing that you need to do is find like who your potential fan is. Like, yeah. And unfortunately, you're going to have to compare yourself to other rappers in that aspect because you got to know like who would possibly like your kind of rap, right? Yep. That makes sense, Definitely. right? Definitely. So 
that's a real important key and I see a lot of people miss that they and, and they just oh I want a label then they think all these people I want a manager they're gonna do all this shit. no man just stay independent stay grinding like you guys are doing yeah. you know so that that's the way way to do it so um we're gonna shift shift gears a little bit again here I want to ask you um so far of all, all the things you've done because I kind of know you're just getting started um what is, what is uh what is the one if you had to pick just one project you wanted somebody to check out or whatever like what what was the one thing that you're like kind of most proud of right now and and like if somebody's like hey what hey i want to check out uh joey deuce is like what would you show them like what would you lead them to type shit you know honestly the the shit that i would really like to lean to is it hasn't even been released yet but anything that's been released right now is usually kicking it in uh it was an inside job you know what I mean? All my freestyle Fridays, you know, there's this, I kind of want them to view it all. You know what I yeah, mean? Honestly, right. you know what I mean? My best is yet to come. So, um, definitely be looking out for that. But if I could, you know, it'd probably be like money and fame, to be honest. You know what I mean? It gives a little bit, not that it's necessarily 100% my life, but you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know what I mean? That's, that's how I feel, you know, definitely. You know, I want the money and I want the fame, you know what I mean? And I and I want it so fucking bad, you know what I mean? I got I got so much energy and time and 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 devotion. I'm just, you know what I mean? I want that shit. I want that shit bad. Yep, and we're gonna keep working towards it, and we're gonna keep getting there, man. So we're gonna kind of talk about what's next for Deuces on the plate. So I have kind of the inclination of uh, a little bit what you're gonna talk about, uh, just because of you know we work together on on a lot of aspects, and then in some aspects you grind it on your own. Like I said, that I appreciate it too. So some of that shit I ain't even heard yet. Um, so what's what's kind of next for you, Deuces? Like what you working on next, and uh, you know. The kind of shit that you said that uh, possibly you you know that hasn't been released that you're gonna want people to check out. What what's your next steps? You know. Uh well tomorrow, Saturday, March sixth, I got uh, a little compilation video I'm dropping, a little something special, a little something different. You know what I mean? I like to be different. I don't like to do everything the same. You know what I mean? And I like to you know just switch it up. Maybe try to grab some fans from this aspect or maybe from that. You know what I mean? I'm still, you know, I'm still trying to find my thing. You know, but uh. Tomorrow, 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 a.m., it's uh, called Train to Go. Go to my Facebook page, Deuces. It's lowercase x, capital X, Deuces, capital X, lowercase x. I know it's kind of complicated, but once you get it figured out, it ain't hard. Yeah. But, um, which I had to do that anyways for copyright reasons because regular Deuces was already taken. Yeah. And uh, I call myself Deuces because I am the second. A lot of people don't understand why I changed from what I used to be called to this, but... It's deuces, you know what I'm saying? That's who I am. And that's what you used to be called. Fingers. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what they used to call me. That was my uh, name. I don't remember exactly who it was. Or did you get probed by an alien or something? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Sure. <laughs> Had Maybe a lot we of weird have. dreams. Maybe one of them dreams was true. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Fingers was the name I was given. Deuces is the name I chose. So oh, okay, I got you. Yep. That was cool. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to have one podcast before this of uh, the return of, uh, we'll just call it season two of the EDP uh, post-corona podcast. I wanted to have you on uh, the second episode just because of the fact that it would have been a fucking oh, the second Hell episode. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I uh, wanted to get you in here e either way, and it just kind of worked out. Um yeah, so, I'm super yeah, glad to be here too. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Like I said, once again, thanks for coming through and your time and shit. But, uh, um, so you got something dropping tomorrow. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what we got popping. So what I wanted to put together this year is like, you know, EDP, I got a lot of shit popping all the time, a lot of goals and a lot of things I'm trying to hit myself as long as trying to help other people too all the time. But uh, we got the EDP mixtape coming out pretty soon. Uh, we've Fire. Been, we've been working on it. It's got some gems on there. We got, uh, I stole, I got a verse from Capo. Cause he's a busy motherfucker, but like he's one of shout the dudes. Shout out to Capo. Yeah, shout out to Tony Capo. Uh, um, he's a busy ass dude, but I at least grabbed a verse from him because we always working and shit. Um, and then uh, obviously it features Deuces. Obviously it features Latin J. And then we got a new artist that we've been working with, uh, D Have, D Haven, whatever he decides to go by. Shout out to that crazy motherfucker. Yeah, shout out to D um, Haven, man. That motherfucker's so, wild. So he's he's going to be on it and he's going to be featured on some songs. So he's got a lot of shit coming out. So, you know, that shit's going to be dope. 
Um, the mixtape is going to be called Late to the Game. It's also going to feature uh, Jay Shine, the homie, too. He's kind of been working with EDP a little bit lately, too. It's going to feature uh, Blind Dreamer from Texas is one of the guys that kind of fucks with me in a long way. So we got a few different artists on there. Um, Cat Smasher, the homie, he's going to be on oh, there. Yeah, you know, so yeah. he's going to be on a track. He goes crazy, too. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, so it, there's going to be several different artists on there. I might drop a sur surprise verse. You guys might might hear something from me. But I also got to go against these guys, so I don't know. I don't I don't like to do that. So um that shit you spit though was fucking hard. <laughs> that shit you spit was hard, bro. Yeah, uh yeah, that that one was in the tank, you know. So um let's talk about I want to talk about something that a lot of people get all butt hurt about it shit and I, it don't really pay me no mind but like what you think about the when people come out with them lists and shit top 25 Miss Keegan rapper list like I mean to be honest anybody can make that list right. I mean who who is who who are you you know what I mean what kind of weight do you hold it all you know what I mean there's so many things that that compile into you know how legitimate is that list you right. know what I mean cuz there's Muskegon is known for them lists, you know what I mean? There was a list going around where there were snitches, but everybody knows that if there's a fucking uh, 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 list of snitches, they ain't going to just hand that shit out. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And half these people are eating that shit up, and a lot of people are butthurt about it and all kinds of shit, but like I was saying earlier, the competitive shit, I don't see nobody battling or anything. I don't see nobody holding no title. Right. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, I don't yeah. even see nobody, you know what I mean? And if anybody is, you know what I mean? They, Where's it at? You know what I mean? Because, I mean... The homie Chilla, he's 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 probably one of the only motherfuckers that really, you know what I mean, escalated to that level or, or got to that pinnacle to where he was, you know what I mean? He he's he's still a big deal, you know what I mean? He I'm sure he's chill low, laying low and shit and doing what he's gotta do business wise and shit. But you know, that list to me, honestly, I've seen it and I just kinda giggled about it. I honestly forgot all about it till you just said something, you know. That's kinda well, funny because that list, man. That don't let that shit get to you yeah, guys, man. Come yeah. on now. That's a good Come on. that's a good way to look at it because uh I was actually personal PM by a few people. Um and I'm just like, for one, okay, look, the people that made that list or whatever, like, yeah, they hold some weight or whatever because they, they got some weight in the game or whatever. But, like, I can make a list, and uh, I'm going to tell you what, that some of them people on that list would be on my list. Yeah, definitely. Because they're my fucking homies. Like, Actually, uh, some of the people Polo. down at the lower, yeah, too. Like, like. Yeah, yeah, like, shout out to Zebo. I'm glad he made it. Fucking Polo. You know, but it doesn't matter because there'll be a new list in three weeks, and then big yep. people will be bitching. And then some people that are bitching ain't even put the work in to be on the list. So yep. I'm like, don't even fucking bitch because if you ain't being noticed you ain't putting the work in the one thing i will say about that list though if Koppel's not on any of those fucking lists you're all fucking crazy because he's out crazy working fucking fuck. most everybody Bro. he's fucking playing every major city in the fucking uh united states he's fucking signed with movie stars yeah, he's, he's got hollywood connects yeah i mean like, what the so, fuck <laughs> i so mean if you're not putting him on the list you all need to fucking re-examine i don't like, think they even Muskegon understand how much list. he's done for Muskegon. Yeah. i don't think they even understand it and they, they don't want to some right. people don't even want to right and and that's cool i'm not that worried about it i just right. I I just i don't i feel like if you're a rapper and you listen to this man don't let them list fucking bother you like yeah, fuck that and, list. and if you're on that list cool man because like i said uh, some homies are on that fucking list like polo's on that list i actually just fucking did a track with him uh i hope owe him a lot of the connections that i've made um with edp from him you know and he's just a fucking cool ass dude he's one of the better rappers around here because he actually raps on fucking beat and uh he's really good at what he fucking does like his style of rap right so, yeah definitely i like that dude um keep it going yeah we uh we in the track that he put down with the beat that i sent him for his uh come get a verse mixtape he just put out that shit is fucking fire man like and i thought it was super dope that he put all the local producers on there too those were all mostly local yeah, that's the producers. kind of love that we need a muskegon man people don't do that shit no more yeah. everybody is so focused on themselves or or or, or trying to uh, prove how hard they are bro that shit is so dead man hip-hop man we don't have enough collaborations going on around here man yeah. we ain't all famous we ain't all too good for each other there's a yeah. lot of talent around here yeah. you know what i mean and everybody's just kind of closing the door on each other and that shit ain't right man that shit ain't good for the culture it ain't good for our city it ain't good for nothing it's a bad look for everybody to be for real uh, so like I said, man, if you got you are upcoming rapper, man, don't pay those lists no mind because you can fucking make a list. So like, uh, you know, it don't it don't really matter. Like yeah. fucking, and I feel like uh, it, that's the name of the game, right? That's even with like my beats or my videos or even the shit that I built and the connections that I've made and continue to make. Like, not everybody's gonna fuck with your shit, and you just gotta be like cool with that, right? Like, right. Definitely, yeah. Cause you gotta like, expect that. Like, uh, exist who you exist for is what I heard, right? So like, listen. Uh, your shit ain't gonna be for everybody but you know like i was alluding to earlier one of the good things is is 
you got to know who you exist for though too right, right yeah, like definitely. you kind of know who your fan base is right because yeah. like look there's a lot a lot of those rappers on that list the recent list that came out like whoever may, i think it was michigan versus everybody or somebody like that made it but uh you know a lot of those rappers kind of are on the same they're all kind of like in the same type of uh, style of rap. Genre you know? type yeah, shit, genre, yeah. yeah, you know, they kind of have that Detroit, Muskegon-ish, uh, you know, Cleveland style type of rap. And uh, that's cool, you know. I mean, I guess that's a good list for that. I mean, Fenton didn't really, uh, he ain't really like that because he's kind of more of a, he's kind of more of in the pop lane or whatever. But that's the homie too, so whatever, I'm hoping He's a little get, more original, man. I yeah. like that that video he came out with. That, that, that showed his uh, creative side, you know what I mean? I really like that. That's what I love the most about this, I think, is uh, witnessing other people's creativity. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, I always wonder what people are thinking or how they came up with that bar. Like, damn, you know what I mean? They had to have been, they snapped on that. You know what I mean? That was a good bar and shit. You know what I mean? Or the, just like their creative ideas of their music videos. And, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, it's just yep. it's great. He did a good job on that. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, also... Uh, with that list too it's like man and and don't get discouraged if you ain't make that list maybe you ain't made enough noise like i see a lot of people right. like, oh i'm better and this and that and that's like okay well then maybe just not on dude's radar like i'm right. sure if dude you know what i mean like yeah. it, it so it is what it is i can fucking Definitely. make my own list but why does that it don't even fucking matter i ain't worried right. about list and i ain't what capo and i kind of talk about and i just preach this shit to you guys too like it ain't even really about being the fucking best in muskegon who the nah, fuck cares about nah. that like you gotta you gotta think worldwide you, yeah. can, you know what i mean you'll never go worldwide with a uh with a a, a city mind state yeah, yeah. Yep, exactly and that the homie uh e will was on the podcast and he basically said the same thing like because you know he gets caught up he's out in the gr rap scene and shit and that's the homie too so shout out e will but he um he said the same thing on the podcast was just like man you can't you can't think of it as oh i'm not getting my props around here like a lot of times that shit don't even fucking matter like right. who's giving you props in your city or whatever like yeah that's, it, that's it, like that's yeah, never nobody ever made it famous for right. local support for real yeah I mean, exactly ooh, I, you know i don't really know anybody who yeah and i see a lot of people crying about that but it's like man I, for real shut the fuck up like for real like i mean then i'm just just being real and being authentic you know i'm uh especially with this podcast going forward i felt like before i was kind of more reserved or whatever but i'm just gonna say what the fuck's on my mind now because yeah freedom like, of speech yeah yeah like oh, yeah. i got it now so i'm just gonna say it so if you don't fuck with a podcast i don't give a fuck either put me on a list i don't give a fuck whatever right. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, yeah that list but, is an opinion man yeah for real, for real. Yeah. like i mean I, i'm i feel like i'm very highly competitive and that shit didn't pay me no mind you know what yeah. i mean i'm not saying that the person that made that list don't mean shit but i mean the list itself what kind of weight does it really hold? It only holds as much weight as you allow it to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Exactly. And like I said, fucking, uh, you shouldn't be salty about it anyway. Use it as a motivator. That's exactly. What I feel yeah. Like, man, motivate to be like, all right, motherfucker, I'm gonna make the list. Next list you make. Yep. But like you said, anybody can make a fucking list, so it is what it is. I yeah. mean, instead of being salty about it, people should reach out to the dude. You know what I mean? Like you were yeah. saying, maybe he, maybe, maybe they just ain't on their radar yep. yet. You know what I mean? How do people, you know what I mean? I'm sure he ain't online just Googling Muskegon rappers yeah, to put on a right. fucking list, you know? Yeah. yeah, definitely. And then a lot of those guys deserve their place, like I said, too, because yeah. they're out there fucking working. They're putting out tapes. Like, I think Neek was on that. That motherfucker's always putting shit out, right? Yeah, you like, see him he's working always a lot. Grinding. Like, and, uh, you know, I got a connection with Nick. He's been through before. I did an interview with him before, and uh, he's one of the dudes I'm getting, I want to get back on the podcast. Um, same with Zebo, man. That motherfucker's out there working all the time. He's always dropping, man. He's always That little, uh, that bro. teaser he dropped with the, with the, uh, the Joker. Yeah, I think it's face out paint. now. I've, I've it? watched most of it. Yeah, yeah, that shit, man, that shit sounded different. I yeah. like that because that, I feel like he switched it up on that. So, you know what I mean? That caught my attention for sure. You know what I mean? He switched it up a little bit. I haven't really seen anybody do much like that you know what i mean mm -hmm. like he did stay in the same genre but he switched his whole flow to, i don't know i feel like he just he just did it different that, there's just something about that one that was yeah. different to me and he does shit different and that's my homie too man i like zebo man he came through we shot a video here and we just hit it off really good so he's gonna be somebody uh i actually already reached out to him to be on a podcast so i'm hoping he's gonna be on like episode two or three or whatever um and just on a side note like i don't want to i want to get back to uh highlight induces here but just on the side note with the podcast too I, I guess i wanted to clear this air at the beginning um with the podcast i'm gonna be doing some more uh 
podcast with Capo. Like he's going to be a, a co-host with me, and we're going to be doing some Zoom ones with some people that he knows too, like some uh, real heavy hitters in the game. So we're oh, going to yeah. try to. That's why this podcast is called EDP Podcast, uh, mixing it up. Because we just mixing it up with everybody. Like I, lo- I have a lot of people before when we were really hustling on it. When I was really hustling on it before, like hit me up. Oh, da da da. I want to be on your podcast and stuff. It's like, man, just because you rap and shit. Like, it's not that I don't necessarily want to have you on. I just don't want to necessarily have all rappers on either. But you know, I'm I'm cool with having as many rappers on and highlight them as possible too. Right. But like, I just want to have people on that are making moves or that fuck with EDP, um, or or that actually like actually doing shit. Because just because you rap in your fucking house and you come out with a song every fucking six months, like that doesn't really warrant my you know fucking yeah, attention definitely. To there's you, nothing wrong with that have anybody yeah. on the cast and that's no offense to anybody but like i'm trying to make fucking moves so i'm hoping other people are trying to make moves too you know because i'm we, we're all trying to elevate so if i see you trying to elevate then i want you on the fucking podcast right so yeah all right with that being said uh let's get back to highlighting the homie joey deuces i know we kind of talked about uh where you came from where you're at now kind of what's coming up next but like uh fill me in with what's what's going to look like over the next we'll just say like uh we'll just say um let's say over the next three quarters because we're almost in the uh, end of quarter one here of 2021 um what what is the next three quarters going to look like for you what kind of pleasure or, or excuse me what kind of pressure are you going to be applying and uh, uh what are you looking to do man you know uh what are some of your next steps and uh just let me know what's going on with that all right um so pretty much we're, we're going to be wrapping up your mixtape here soon um i got that content dropping tomorrow uh we got i want to do that music video too mm, yeah that music video yeah. i got some ideas for that a couple of uh more ideas too and um that shit goes hard too i appreciate that shit I got that. Um, I, I got uh, a mixtape coming out. There's only going to be a hundred hard copies of it, and then after that, it'll be done. Uh, I'm taking that's only going to be like five dollars. Uh, that's going to be that's going to be hard on some real ass shit. That's going to be it's going to be a lot of unreleased shit on that shit that uh, isn't anywhere streaming anywhere. You know what I mean? Kind of just hard copy edition, quick limited edition. But I. I I'm just trying to put in work, man. I got so much going on. To be honest, I don't really have a uh, a set list yet of what I'm going to be releasing or when I'm going to be releasing. But I'm trying to release at least once a week okay. for the rest of the year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I kind of wanted to start out the year like that, but unfortunately, you know, yeah. things happen. So, yeah, it should happen. but yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to. My main goal is to get as many features out of uh, uh, from people in Muskegon as possible, local. And to just uh, do as many shows as I can. Hopefully everything opens up here soon. Because, you know, that that's a big deal for me. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to do, too. You know what I mean? Performing live. That's just crazy. You right. know what I mean? Just yeah. going nuts on the stage. Yep. But, uh, yeah, I got so much content I'm ready to put out. I just haven't figured out a game plan yet. You know what I mean? Because I don't want it to just be a bunch of random stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I got kind of a storyline I'm trying to brew up, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to reach a, a height by the end of this year. I got I got some plans, you know. I don't want to 100% say anything's going to be solidified, but I got I got a lot of ideas. So much content I'm sitting on right now. So much content. You awesome. know, I've been grinding my ass off, so. Fuck yeah, man. That's dope to hear. And uh, that's why I fuck with you in the long way, because, uh, I mean, you might not have it all fucking exactly planned out exactly how you want it yet, but at least you know you got it lined up and ready to go. So that's super dope. Yeah, um, as far as the mixtape goes, like, I'm hoping we can kind of get that wrapped up pretty soon. I don't want to drag our feet too long out. Like, I would like, I w- my goal is to, like, April 1st, and I think we might still be on projected of that. I might just have to, uh, you know, probe a few people to get some fucking verses done a little bit quicker, and let's get the train fucking rolling and moving, right? Because I feel like uh, I fuck with anybody that's on that should be able to come over and knock out two or three verses in one fucking session. So a couple yeah. more sessions of that, and we'll go from there um so this is going to be the part of the show like what um as you're coming up i know you're still getting established um i know you know i kind of know your path i know your journey and i know kind of what you're looking forward to in the future but like say say there's a, a somebody kind of wants to get 
in rap around here that's watching this show or they want to get involved in music like what advice could you give to like somebody coming up like some shortcomings that you have learned like maybe give them some shortcuts that like some pitfalls that you kind of wish you avoided and type shit like what what are some what are a couple of things that you think that maybe could help out somebody else that might be like watching this or whatever not the first thing i would never do is just give up man don't let nobody bring you down about it you know what i mean that shit sounds stupid when you say that shit out loud i want to be a rapper you know what I mean? That's usually how people start. I personally am just trying to be an entertainer, but don't let nobody bring you down and make sure you invest your time and, and invest money into yourself. You know what I mean? Invest. Do your research. You know what I mean? It, you can be sitting around scrolling on your phone all you want, but the, you're wasting your time and your energy. You know what I mean? Put that time and that energy into maybe learning how to uh, engineer, maybe mix, maybe look up. You know what I mean? You can grab a starter kit real quick, start uh, recording yourself. You know what I mean? reach out to don't just don't just sit in your closet or your little basement or whatever you know what i mean reach out to other artists you know what i mean not everybody's gonna reach back and you can't take that personal you know what i mean because who are you especially if you're not a part of the scene already you know right. or yeah. if you don't know the people personally just reach out you know what i mean and try to be humble as possible because you know you never know who you can meet you know what i mean never know who you could fuck with somebody you know but just don't let nobody tell you anything you know just just keep pushing and invest invest don't do not waste your time that is the biggest thing i regret the most is wasting my time yeah wasting your time you know that's that's always one of those things even for myself is like coulda woulda shoulda you know i always feel like and that's kind of why i wanted to uh label the new mixtape late to the game because i feel like everything i've done has always been a little bit behind a little bit late to the game i mean i've always worked towards music and shit like that like always been jamming and stuff but i've never understood the focus and the dedication and 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 the networking and all those pieces it took me a while to put it together you know i even paid a lot of money for consultations and shit like that and uh you know i took i took what they said and it, it definitely helped progress my game but sometimes you just got to do it yourself and figure it out yeah. right but like yep. i feel like if you're just getting started if you're young if you're old it don't matter i one of the pieces i would say is just like don't give a fuck what anybody says like yep. when i started the podcast off and said that dumbass meme about not everybody needs a podcast i mean okay cool whatever if that's the way you feel fine but is are you just saying that because you don't do shit yeah right yeah. seriously like, yeah you tell yourself <laughs> that or you you allow yourself to uh seep in any of that information where you it's either a can't or you shouldn't or anything like that man that's just negative that's just negative all that shit needs to get pushed away all of it just ignore any of that shit do what you want to do if that's what you want to do do it you know what i mean obviously you got to take care of your responsibilities and priorities but make time you know what i mean like i said man that time wasting shit dude you can be sitting there on your phone all you want but you're wasting your time you know definitely. yeah yeah like are you consuming or are you creating? Right, exactly. You can be a consumer or a creator. That's you a great know, way to put it. You know, great way to put because, it. Because, like, how many hours you just scrolling through? You're like, shit, man, them, even 10 minutes, if you took up them 10 minutes all day that you're just scrolling and, like, half the time, like, I'll catch myself doing it because it's almost like a fucking habit. But, like, yeah, definitely. then I just sit there and I'm like, oh, man, I could have spent all this time doing shit. And I'm looking at most of this stuff that, like, yeah, a lot of these people actually truly even generally like or love, but it's like, they ain't really most of them ain't really putting anything out that are, are like content out or anything that's making my day better or making me get further in my goals right, right. so yeah, like definitely. you gotta be that's a trap it's gotta be very careful of that you know like so yeah i like what you said about the no negativity thing man because that kills a lot of people is just the negativity and listen to what other people say man i say do what the fuck you want when you want to do it and how you want to feel as long as you ain't hurt nobody and you happy with it man just keep pushing keep yeah, definitely. you know keep working towards it and that's you know and that's that's kind of the when i see the edp artist fucking hashtag when people use that like that's the kind of thing that um i pride our our you know what what we're working towards in it is making sure that we uh we pushing all that negativity away and we're just doing what we're doing because we feel like fucking doing it because right. we don't care what anybody says right For especially because sure. you get the whole um oh those guys are just this or those guys are just that like everybody can just put a label on you and pigeonhole yeah. you but they don't know you know they don't know the fucking kind of work you're putting in or what you're actually trying to do so yeah definitely yeah people let uh other people's opinions carry too much power and and it's almost a trend now you know what i mean it's crazy yeah and it's everybody's so back and forth you know what i mean one minute they're posting a meme saying what we were just talking about don't worry about nobody you know what i mean just focus on you do what you got to do to you know what i mean to do you you know what i mean fuck everybody else's negativity and shit but then them same people are going and posting shit like oh why is so-and-so doing this or people need to start doing that and it's like man just it's so crazy it's yeah. so crazy 
Yeah. Dude, that negative shit is just crazy. The opinionated people are just don't don't worry about it. People that are opinionated, man, I don't even want them around me for real. Always worried about somebody else or what? Yeah, the, yeah, this yeah, is exactly. crazy. That that's a complete downfall right there. Worried about somebody else, worried about yourself and uh, what you're working towards. You know, it kind of alludes to the question, or like you know, kind of. Um, we were talking about upstairs before we came uh, down here to do this podcast, just about like, you know, some people just really ain't got shit going on either. And that's part of the problem too. You yeah. know, like they don't really have a lot going for them. So like, that's what they do and spend their time. But man, we all about working towards your goals over here and accomplishing being better than you were yesterday. Yeah, being and, uh, great. You're yeah. going to wake up and be great every day. Yep, yeah, exactly, man. And, and try to have that positive mindset and um, keep pushing and don't stand for nobody's bullshit either. Like fuck it, right, man. Definitely. Speak the fuck up. Yeah. Like if somebody's doing some weird shit, like, all this weird cancel culture and shit i say fuck all that shit fuck all these weird mr like, potato yeah head. <laughs> fuck all that shit man what's like, next for mrs real, dash like, you yeah, know what i mean yeah like, <laughs> i'm like we got the take, mr coffee maker yeah we're gonna we take that <laughs> fucking take a stand with this shit because it's just it's going out of control it's like people don't have anything fucking better to do so they're attacking all this shit right. out here and, and the bad thing like, about it is this a shit like that usually trickles down and bites that them people in the ass in the end of the day yeah just I, you know we live in a crazy culture right now but like i think a lot of it if you focus on your goals your aspirations your dreams and your ambitions like a lot of that shit will just go quiet and it is what it is but don't take nobody's bullshit and take a stand like that's kind of where i'm at in my life too like a lot of times i would try to be a people pleaser and say shit to uh, just be very neutral about shit but yeah. like you know i but at the same time like i told you before you know i don't really marry beliefs either like i don't i don't like to like i like to be open-minded and that's one of the qualities that i find in myself personally because like if you tell me something like i want to be open-minded to it and not just be like oh i don't fucking you know <laughs> right I mean? yeah definitely without the conversation and while without that ability to like be a critical thinker like you you're not really gonna know you know yeah. unless you know type shit you know so, yeah that's another thing with these days man people don't try to understand each other you know what i mean like i like to understand why people think certain ways you know what i mean you know what i mean like I don't know. Sometimes it might it might make people mad. Sometimes it don't. But a lot of the times, man, I just want to know why did they think like that? You know yeah. what I mean? For what reason? You know yeah. what I mean? Why do they think like that? Maybe they have a legitimate reason. You know what I mean? Because you know, people believe in certain di things that other people don't necessarily believe in. Right. So yeah. at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like people just look at the world different. So there might just be a misunderstanding. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of times it's that, but then some people don't really want to talk through it either. So yeah, definitely. It is what it is. But <laughs> we ain't here to fucking make the world happy, and uh, this ain't no political show or nothing like that, so it is what it is. But, yeah, I mean, that just needs to be said. I think standing on your values, standing up for yourself, and uh, and doing what the fuck you want to do, like I said, as long as it don't hurt nobody, yeah. you just keep keep moving and keep pushing. So um, what are some things that uh, make Joey Deuces tick? What are some other things that just kind of make you go, like, of course you love music and shit. Like, what are some other things that you like to do, man? Cause, uh, comedy. Oh, comedy? I love Hell comedy. Yeah. You know, nice. uh, comedy, man. Stand-up comedy? Stand-up comedy, comedy, like, uh, comedy clips. Skits. Just being goofy, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, man, I didn't always do that, but I, I, I'm goofy, you know what I mean? I like to be goofy. That shit makes me tick. Having fun. Being able to just laugh about shit, you know what I mean? I used to be kind of an angry person, you know what I mean? I let shit get to me all the time. But that shit's depressing, you know what I mean? That's not the way you want to live. But comedy, man. Comedy to me, man, I don't know what I would do without comedy. Dave Chappelle, that motherfucker's funny as yeah, hell. Yeah, Dave Chappelle is funny as hell. Uh, I don't know, man. Just being goofy and having fun, man, it just... It's just a feeling to that, you know what I mean? Yeah. That being happy. Comedy to me is definitely a big one. That, that's funny you say that because we never really talked about that before. But uh, that's one thing that I actually enjoy too. I just love fucking stand up comedy. I'm always watching that. My girl don't really watch it, but uh, she, um, she know I'm like always watching the shit. Like uh, one of my my favorite comic is probably Tom Segura. That motherfucker oh, just yeah. makes me fucking bust, man. He's like crazy. he's fucking <laughs> a, he's a wild he's a wild dude. But he just like. Like, there's a lot of good ones, obviously. Bill Burr, you know, like you said, Chappelle, yeah. shit like that. Like, Rogan, Eddie Murphy, Rogan. Raw, too, yeah, man. I remember watching classics. that with my oh, dad. Man. God, that was lunatic Fucking shit, Goonie dude. Goo Goo. Oh, man. Like, whatever the fuck, man. That shit, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Joe Rogan, he's pretty He's pretty fucking funny, too. Like, yeah. he makes you think about some shit. I remember he had a... Did you see his last one that he put out? 
uh, on Netflix, like his very last nope, one, I the haven't. Rogan one. I've been kind of staying away from watching yeah. a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff I got to catch up on, but yeah. I'll put that on the list. I I usually watch it like right before I fall asleep. I don't spend a lot of time, or you know, just chilling with the fam or whatever. But obviously, we're not watching the fucking stand up comedy <laughs> with the kid and shit, you know. Right. But Rogan had this really funny ass skit about cats, and my god, dude, I remember like my girl was sleeping and I was watching it, and it was like I had to go to bed, but like I just couldn't stop watching it because it was so funny. But like I almost rolled off the motherfucking bed, I was laughing so hard that <laughs> like woke her up and shit because I was just dying laughing, and it was funny as shit. But uh, that's a good one, check that one out. But yeah, what's Con- it called? Uh, Joe Rogan, what man, what the f- strange times, I think, or strange, uh, something like that. Yeah, I think it was the newest one that he just put out. Well, it's been a couple years now because of the whole corona thing, but but yeah, I think that's it's called like strange times or something. And that motherfucker had me yeah, have to check too. that out. Yeah, classic Joe. Yeah, so all right, man. So, uh, what. So you kind of said you got some shit in the works. You going from there? Um, any uh, like w- w- we probably just wrap this thing up now. Any final thoughts or anything that you want to say or anything you want to put out there for the people? You know, man. Any last closing words? Yeah, man. Uh, go like my page, man. Okay. Uh, if you're anybody local artist, you know what I mean. You watching this, listening to this, man. Hit me up. Don't be scared. You know what I'm saying. Let's let's do work. I'm trying to work with everybody, man. For real. I mean somebody's got to put on muskegon sometime there's so much talent around here you know what i mean it's bound to happen yeah the more you spread your web you know what i mean the more you're going to collect them you know what i mean some food when that when that food flies into that web you know just on some real ass shit hit me up you know what i mean hit me up for a feature i'm trying to work with everybody uh go to my page on facebook like i said before is lowercase deuces capital or lowercase x capital x deuces capital x lowercase x on facebook uh check me out on instagram it's a uh, 231 deuces uh check me out on youtube uh that's deuces too you can just look up uh joey deuces and uh it should be the top one that pops up i'm on all streaming platforms check me out check out latin j go follow the edp page go follow the latin j page uh go follow uh tony Capo, man go fuck with tony Capo, man he's definitely top Top two shit to me, honestly, on some real shit. When it comes to uh, the business, all the way around, he's definitely, definitely top two. Right at the end of the day, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like that motherfucker goes hard. But yeah, go like my shit, man. Go like the yeah. EDP page. Be on the lookout for the EDP mixtape. Be on the lookout for my content. I got some shit dropping. Uh, I'm trying to drop all the time. So come fuck with me, man. On some real ass shit. I got bars, you know what I mean? I got a little comedy here and there. I like to talk shit. I know you motherfuckers like to hear people talk shit. So come fuck with me, man. Come fuck with me. Hell yeah. All right, man. So once again, thanks a lot for your time coming through. Uh, it was nice to get another podcast in the books, like, because it's been a while since we had one. Yeah, this is but, my first uh, one. I appreciate you having me on, man. Yeah, for, for real, real, man. That's uh, a lot it, of love. Yeah, it's only right. Fucking on the last uh, series when I started up the podcast, I think Latin J was one of the first ones. So it was kind of par for the course um keep on the lookout if you're listening to this you can listen to this on all platforms if you want to listen to the podcast you uh also can watch this on youtube if you're seeing this or seeing a clip or or whatever it may be um and yeah man fucking go follow edp uh exador productions on all platforms uh we got all kinds of shit dropping myself these guys got shit dropping so we just out here working man so if you're interested in music positivity laughing moving forward and uh just having a good time man uh reach out and also you guys will be seeing a lot more podcasts coming up hopefully i'm going to feature some of the artists that are on that list i'm also going to be doing some more like i said with tony capo myself like he's going to be a co-host on some i might even try to get him in the studio just to have him an extra co-host to have him in here but we got some people lined up that we're going to talk to over zoom so we got to just get the the best setup for that because you know those can be kind of wonky and right, shit. But like yeah. with the setup that i'm using right now or whatever for the podcast actually is going to work out it's kind of this little fucking thing right here it's got a dope yeah, little thing nice. where i can i can connect right to uh do like a mix minus and connect right and then they can hear us through there with through the mics and everything so Wonder, is that called yeah. zoom because it, it, yep. it's with the zoom thing yeah yep. yeah that that's just a zoom like uh pod track p4 but it seems to work pretty good sounds oh, pretty yeah, good it's crispy 
um yeah it fucking does the trick so and that was the difference because with the studio before when i had it in there everything was right there so i just ran the mics directly into my board we just recorded right into pro tools and then it was like blam 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 i'd edit it throw in premiere and fucking chop it up or whatever but have to do this a little different because the studio is not down here anymore but uh yeah, so if you guys watch this all the way to the end, man, much love, appreciate this. If you're in a local business and you want me to shout you out, like I, I'm not really looking for sponsors or anything at, at this moment. I mean, like I don't have any sponsors, but like if you want me to shout out your business on my fucking podcast, I'm yeah. Shout out to Eddie to Bills that. too. Uh, yeah. Okay, matter yeah. of fact, uh, go to Facebook, man. Just type in Eddie Bills, E D I slash B I L L S. And go like the page, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. If, you if, if you like that edible shit, man, go go fuck with them, man. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, everyone. Thank you so much. Appreciate you watching. And uh, goodbye and uh, peace out. Much love to you guys. Uh, catch you later. All right, deuces. <laughs>